Hello. Um, recently I did a video about these gold and silver foil stickers from Dollar Tree. They come in this package from Crafter Square. And what we did, what I did was I used alcohol ink on them and uh, I, I, I just am in love with how they came out. I will actually link right up there to that video. But, you know, buying foil stickers, they aren't always what you want. These were feathers. Well, what if I want butterflies or flowers or something else? So it got me to thinking about how I might be able to create my own foil stickers. And that is what we are going to do today. Um, sorry, I want to put those away so that I don't have them messed up. I have used a few of them, but okay. So the first thing I thought of was the fact that um, I can make my own foil. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. I got this lovely stuff called Reynolds Wrap. And it's pretty cool foil. Right? The problem with it is that it is too thin. It it it's not going to make a very good embellishment like that. Right? So I it made me decide that what I needed was to add a piece of cardstock to it. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. You can't just glue anything to aluminum foil. And you can, and then to be able to cut it out. Because you have to think about it. I, I could probably use carpet tape to stick these two things together. But can I cut it out? Can I punch it? Can I do what I need to do with it? The first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to use up some cardstock that is something I will probably never use out of a paper pad. While I might have liked the, a lot of the paper pad, that's not something I'm going to use. And this is way too big for something I'm going to use. However, these have a texture on them. So you have to think about that. It probably wouldn't make a difference, but I did not want to use this one. I am going to use this one. And I'm just gonna turn it over, glue it down. But the thing of it is, is that you have to think about what glue is gonna work. And I went through a couple glue stick obviously doesn't work. Um, I will tell you that I if you get it clear out to the edge, this this uh, I tried you can pull this off. It, you can pull it. But if you get it stuck down really good, it seems to stay. So that's why I am using yes paste. Um, yes paste is an all-purpose book book paste. It is not a glue. It is a paste, which is a little different. Um, and it's a little bit of a pain to apply, but, uh, I, I do find it's worth its, its weight when I'm doing something specific. Um, it's really good for gluing fabric to things because it doesn't bleed through the fabric. Um, you have to apply it very you put it on thick, but then you thin it out. It does not need a thick coat. But what you want to make sure of is to coat everything. So I'm going to use uh, like a credit card and the Yes Paste. And I am going to stick this down. I will, I'm will. i going to speed that up because I'm sure it's going to take a while. And then I'll be back.
Okay, guys. So this is what my piece looks like right now. And it's actually a little sticky around here. So the next step is, of course, to let it dry. Um, you have to think about the fact that the aluminum foil is not porous and therefore it's going to take a while because all the moisture from the paste has to come through this piece of cardstock it can't go out both directions if you're putting two pieces of paper together the moisture from a glue can go out both ways this is not going to let it so it's going to have to dry this way um i would highly recommend you lay it with the cardstock up to get it dry uh, where shall I put this? There. And it's going to take a little while to get it dry. Um, I did, like I said, I pulled on this to see what would happen. And I, I'm i guessing that I didn't get it great. It doesn't pull off easy. Okay. Um, so I think I probably just didn't get as much um, of the Yes Paste on that edge as I had thought. Um, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, you end up with this nice sheet of foil cardstock. Now, it's not perfect. It's got bumps and stuff in it. But remember, we're, we're going to go and put some alcohol ink all over it. So it, it's really not going to show the imperfections. And frankly, I suppose there's probably, there's, uh, foil cardstock out there. I just don't want to go buy something else when I already have this cardstock and I have these things. Um, plus, I don't necessarily know what foil cardstock would work with the alcohol inks. I know that aluminum foil does. So, we now have a big chunk of aluminum foil that's stuck to our cardstock and we have lots of options um, I will show you I, I'm using my piece I'm using the whole piece pretty much I have used I've got some leaves and some butterflies some more butterflies, some flowers, some itty bitty butterflies. Um, one of the things I'll tell you is that <clears throat> you could alcohol ink this sheet and then cut everything out. I didn't because I wanted to play with this a little more than that. So, you know, honestly, the next time I'll probably cut it in half and like alcohol ink this piece because in one color family and another piece in a different color family just because it'll be easier than trying to ink little tiny pieces but I will show you what we're going to do to get our pieces I have several options and um, I wanted to make sure they would all work before I told you about them the first thing I thought of was our big kick, our side kick, our our cutting our cutting machine. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because I really wanted some leaves to alcohol ink. And so I took my uh, big kick. I think it's a big kick. I'm not sure what it is. It's a six inch wide manually operated cutting device. I took my cutting, whatever this thing is, the block that's going to cut this, and I cut out the leaf right out of my big chunk of foil. So now I have my own foil embellishment. I did a couple of That's not the right one. This one is the other one of butterflies. I have some flowers. So I did those with my big kick. And you could use the other cutting, the other type of cutting tools. It's just that these are the, 
the um, the steel roll dies are, are the ones that I had that were what I wanted to cut out, which was the butterflies and the leaf. The next thing I double checked was the thick punches. I have several of these thick punches and they have, of course, worked great. What I really needed to test were these. These butterfly punches can be ornery simply because they're not really designed to go through anything really heavy. So I wanted to double check whether or not I could punch with them. And this butterfly, oh, and I'm sorry for all the glare guys, let's hold it that way. This butterfly has these two little antenna. Sorry. And I wanted to be sure that I could punch them out with that two, with knowing I had those two little antennas. Let's see if I have enough room somewhere. And granted, it's not the easiest. Okay, come here. Come here. We're going to, we got to fit on there, guys. There we go. But it punched right out. Now, honestly, the hardest one I had was this one that's all four butterflies. And it's always kind of on right. Let's see what we can do here. I'm just trying to get them all four on there. Yeah, well. And I think it's Henri mostly because there's four of them in there. If it was one, it would have cut just fine. But because there's four, and aluminum foil is not Heart is it's one of those things we use to actually sharpen our punches sometimes, so it should it should be fine. It should be fine. Let me get this out of the way. So we've got options for cutting things out. We can make all kinds of shapes now that we have our base. And like I said, it would probably be easier to just aluminum foil. I'm trying to get these out of the way, guys. That's all I'm trying to do. To um, just alcohol ink this. But I just kind of wanted to give you a, an idea. Oh, there was one other thing I was going to tell you. Make sure you get your uh, glue everywhere. That's the one thing. Because I can feel that piece of cardstock. And I know that that little guy does not have any glue. Let me bring it in closer. He doesn't have any glue on that little wing. I am going to glue it down with art glitter glue. I think for that little bit, it will hold it. And that way I can keep that little embellishment there. Okay. Now, what I want to do is, I want a piece of Paper. Sorry for my head. I just realized I wanted a piece of white paper so you can see better. And once again, with all the reflection, you it's hard to see the um, alcohol ink colors on there. But... I wanted to do this one and I'm just going to do it with my little alcohol pad this time and my brush. Okay. 
And one of the things I found that I really liked the last time was after you get it all covered with alcohol ink, get your color on there. If you spritz it with the spritz bottle, and yes, I know I shouldn't really um, combine my colors, but Okay, once I get it all inked up, for some reason that just does not want to stay. There we go. If you take your little bottle of alcohol ink and spritz it, it does this wonderful cell pattern thing. Can you see that? I'm just going to clean my brush a little bit. I'm not going to sit and paint all these in front of you today because uh, I actually am not sure what I want to, um, what colors I want them to be. Um, but I just really think that making your own metallic embellishments gives you so much in the way of options. It's about options. We can now have whatever shape we want that we have in our sub dash of dies or punches or you can cut them out by hand. Let's see here. I'll bet I could cut a heart out of one of these pieces that I have left over. It's attached. Sorry. Okay, so we have a heart. Um, of course, I can cut a rough circle. What about a raindrop? We just have so many more options for embellishments if we have the base to work with. So that guys is my little hint for today. I'm sure you've all thought about it. <laughs> He's just, it's one of those things. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think this up, but I hope it gives you some ideas to run with. Right now I'm going to read you a quote from our 1001 ways to creativity. And I'm going to try to clean up the mess I just made. And let's see here. If you're not failing every now and again, it's a sign you're not doing anything very innovative. Woody Allen. Okay. That's possibly true. It's also a sign that you have to learn and and learning is a important thing. So okay guys, go have fun, make some art. Bye-bye.